Hello and welcome back to Ice and Fire Season 2. If you didn't watch the last episode, we had some, um, some fun with the Nether. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna say anymore. If, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, but anyways, if you did watch it, I have updated the pack. So as you can see, the Nether portal is no longer see-through. It is back to being normal, and that is just because optimization it was being laggy and yeah even though it was really cool I, I just don't want the the lag I want as little of it as possible um, so I have reset the nether and removed that mod so let us step through and see how the nether actually looks now it actually does look different um, yeah this spawn is a whole lot better in my opinion than the last one as you can see all the ores are gone fire be gone actually some of it may stay um but yeah as you can see all doors are gone we still have the normal gold door of course and the nether quartz and we also have a few new ones i don't know what that is actually um but yeah we also still have those guys which i do need because i do actually need leather now the question is is there i thought that was the edge of a fortress i really really want a fortress this episode and that is because i want to get the what's it called with a shards i think it's called with a shards right with a bone shard yeah it's from ice of fire i really want that um also because i want uh blazes so we can get blaze powder and brew potions and all that good stuff um so i really want to kind of just explore the nether a little bit now i did see a gold pile over there so that means we do actually have a bastion right over here also let's take on this wolf real quick should be good doing that. I really need to start equipping my um, my trident as as my go-to weapon. They actually give a lot of leather. That's really good. Um, but as we are in 1.16.4, there will be brutes. There will be piglin and brutes. Um, and I don't know if I'm up to taking that on today. Maybe next time. Well, not next time. Maybe another time. But I really, really want the fortress. So I think I'm going to just... Go ahead and explore a little bit. Not to come too close to those guys because they will try and kill me. But yeah, explore a little bit in the other direction. See if we find something interesting. See if we find a fortress. That would be really good, as I said. Oh, he's angry at me now. Lovely. So yeah, I'm just gonna run in this direction. Um, hopefully I don't run into too many of out these guys. Ooh, eh, useless. But uh, yeah, I'll be back if I see something interesting. Um, I think that's just an obsidian pillar. Do we have another wolf here? We do have another wolf here. Hello. This is gonna be a great source for leather, actually. But yes, this is not the only stuff we will be doing this episode. I do have some stuff for us to do back at our base. So, I'm gonna cut it here, and I'll be back if something interesting happens, or I find something interesting. I really want a fortress, so hopefully... There is one not too far away from us. I should say as well that there aren't any new, from my understanding anyway, there aren't any new um, nether biomes. I am waiting for a mod from Fabric to be ported to Forge, but until that happens we will be stuck with the uh, normal vanilla nether stuff, which is fine. Which is totally fine. I might not even add it to the pack once it gets ported. I don't know yet. And I did try and look, but... I didn't find any of the mods being here for 1.16.4 and also being here for Forge. That was... I don't think there were any, actually. I think they were, were all, like, outdated or something. Oh, what will happen if I try and get this? Gold dust. I mean, that's better than getting all the nuggets from these things. Oh, dear, he saw me. Run! This, though, is definitely the way to get, to get leather. I have 13 pieces already, and I need that to be able to craft um, armor, because there's a mod that if we take a look at, for example, diamond armor, we need a chainman helmet, and for that we need chains, but also we can make it with that. Actually, that's an interesting recipe. Uh, that does not prove the point that I need. Let's go to iron armor. <laughs> so the chest plate, for example, we need the leather, so you basically keep upgrading the armor from the previous like tier you had it at. Um, now, I don't see a fortress here whatsoever, and I don't really fancy making a huge tower thing to get up there. So, maybe we 
just don't have a fortress here. I don't know. Now this is interesting. We have basalt iron ore, basalt gold ore, and basalt coal ore. See, this is... I'm not getting anything. Huh? That's weird. Maybe I need silk touch to get it or something. Huh. But that's fine. I don't mind these being here, because they're not spread all over the place. Is that diamond basalt ore? Oh wait, maybe I can make a bridge over here. Maybe this is doable. I see that over there, and I'm gonna go in the opposite. Kinda, actually, nope. Okay, apparently I'm here now. Hi. Oh no. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna go into that. We're not gonna go into that whatsoever. Hi, hi. Yeah, we're not... We're not gonna go into that. If you don't know what happens, happened last time we went into that, um, what's the last episode? I should be fine to just cross it and move along. Ooh, nice. What are you? Hi. A warped toad. You hurt? No, you don't. Ooh. Oh, it's cute. They're cute. I like them. Still no fortress so far. I really, really hope to find one somewhere around here. All right. That was interesting. An interesting adventure. We didn't find a uh, another fortress, unfortunately. But we will just have to keep searching. Now, I have 35 levels. And one of the reasons why I need the leather is, of course, to make the bookshelves so that we can make this enchanting table able to enchant at level 30. So I will have to be doing some grinding either in a stream or something to get the necessary leather that we need because I really want to enchant the tie trident and also the th this Thurium pickaxe and also my armor because it is actually pretty good. Now, the thing that I want to do today is actually a little bit of industrial work. I want to move these around a little bit, um, which I just realized I can't move this one. Uh, I just want to fix up this hole. And then I want to start building our very first machine. You may be wondering what this machine is. Well, as you can see, we have tons upon tons of ores. Now, we could smelt all these and we would get what we see here just in ingot form. But with immersive engineering, we have a pigment around here. With immersive engineering, we can, where is that book? Engineer's manual. We can make a bunch of cool machines, such as a crusher. And the crusher, crushing an ore, is an effective way of increasing their yield. For each ore creates two dust, which you can then smelt. And as to show it, we have these gold dust and this diamond dust right here. So we would need to build this machine right here. And I want to start doing that. Um, now, I need to see what items we actually need for it. Because it doesn't give a direct list of the stuff we need, so I need to find the blocks in here using this. So this is gonna be interesting. Now the machine is going to be a five by three. So if we go down here, let's see if we can find a good spot for it. So a five by three, that would be, hmm. I'm just thinking how I want this to be, because I want to excavate the rest of this basement as well. And of course, we need to decorate it again. Maybe we'll need to do that in a stream. Um, but I'm thinking maybe having it here. So have one here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then three. This would this is how much space it would take up. And then we could lead the stuff from this one over to like a smeltery. All right, so to begin, we need a lot more steel. So I am going to put over these 18 iron ingot here. We're gonna take half of that, put that in there. That will then convert it to steel. I'm actually gonna take out the steel because we will need that for a bunch of stuff for the first couple of things that we need to make for it. And then I am going to take one stack of iron ore and I'm gonna split it into these blast furnaces here so we can get that cooking next i believe we need like 10 of these so that is three steel ingots and steel rods which are made like so so putting them like that should give us steel scaffolding just like that 
Now already we're out of steel. <laughs> so I gotta go down and hope that it doesn't take too long to smell. All right, we already, we already, we're almost there, almost there. All right, these are the steel scaffoldings that we will need. We will be needing more steel for some steel fence, but first we need these light engineering blocks. For that we need iron plates and we also need these iron mechanical components which are more iron plates with copper which is why I wanted all this iron. This takes a lot of resources but it's going to be very helpful in the future. All right, light engineering blocks need iron mechanical components. For that I already didn't make enough, that's fine. Now a good thing to note that some of these recipes actually give more than just one block so we actually already have eight of these sheet metal so now we could go ahead and make one of those, but we still need a ton more of the, the what's it called, iron mechanical components. And there we go, the final light engineering blocks that we need. All right, what do we need next? I think we're actually getting there slowly but steadily. Okay, I didn't actually see this, so required materials and it says what we need and actually how much we have in our inventory, what do we have the required amounts in our inventory, so we need a redstone engineering block, eight steel fence, and nine hopper. So the redstone engineering block, redstone engineering block is this one, four sheet metal, copper, and redstone. That is a very easy recipe to get. There we go, four redstone engineering blocks, and we only need one, so we will have uh, for future projects as well. Next, we gotta get the steel fence, meaning I gotta get the steel from here, and hopefully this is enough. We need how many? I think we need, yeah, we need eight. Which, this is probably the most expensive thing here, because I already only have three, and we need how many? Yep, we need eight. <laughs> this, this might take a little while. All right, now I can make the, wait, how many hoppers did we need? We needed nine, didn't we? Yep, nine hoppers. Not quite there yet. <laughs> Getting there, though. I'm getting there. Now while I'm waiting for the steel to cook, we need to redirect the power from upstairs. So we need to redirect power from that all the way down to the basement somehow. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a few blocks here and I'm gonna get to work on how to actually get this down. Um, we will need to make some holes here and there. And we will have some wires hanging around here, but I think we will be all right. Hopefully. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to put a relay. Basically, you use the LV wire relay when you need to have multiple points for the wire to go. So for example, the wire cannot go from here to here. It needs to go here, here, and then down to the battery, for example. So for that, you would use these LV wire relays. So... I gotta do that. All right, that fits perfectly. Ow. <laughs> and then we could put it all the way down here. Oh, this is gonna be a whole lot of digging. I just realized. Hmm. And this would end up quite in the middle of everything. It might actually not be that bad. It would end up right here, according to my calculations. So it actually wouldn't be that bad because we could take it to the ceiling and then move it over and then have an extra battery or something over there. Yeah, I think it it, it might work. It might work actually. All right, so there is the wire right there. So if I just dig this, put a relay here and then let us put another one here. And then let's say, let's place a battery like right there. Uh, I should have another battery somewhere. Yep, the LV capacitator. We should be able to then place that right. Uh, let's place it right there. And then we need the input relay, not the relay, the, what are we talking about? The connector. <laughs> I'm gonna place it there, wire connector, and then I just need to connect that with this, and this with that, and that with this. Makes sense, right? Right? All right, we are linking from that in the top. Down, perfect, and then from here to here, and then from here to here. Perfect, so now we are redirecting power from the windmill all the way at the top down to this battery right here. And we can now set an output here that can then lead into 
the machines. That is perfect. All right. That was actually not that painful. Beautiful. I love stuff like this. <laughs> I really, really do. In the meantime, we did all that. Um, oh, we're actually out of fuel for this. I thought it was done. Huh. Well, I think... I don't think we have enough, actually. I don't think we have enough yet. Now, the only downside to this is, of course, we have a hanging wire at all. So, well, a hole in the floor. So, I think what I actually could do is well I don't quite have enough wood for it but I could make a small pipe looking thing with trap doors but anyways let's take a look first if we can make this all right we're just missing one steel ingot then we have the steel fence that we need I was thinking something like uh, can I not place it on top oh I can perfect I was thinking something like that. So it is still clearly visible that it's there. But it's like having a pipe here. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. I would obviously have to move some of this, which I actually am going to do. Let's move some of this stuff. I accidentally broke the connection between these two by placing a trapdoor in the way, but it's fine. Because we can actually get in there. Cool. Um, all right, we have enough steel now, so final steel fence, and we should have everything we need. All right, perfect. We're going to take our hammer, going to put in the steel away, and we shall go make this thing. And let's hope it works. <laughs> right, so hopefully I'm going to be placing everything down the right way here. Um, I think it was like that. And then light engineering blocks here and here we will want some light on the subject and now what uh, one there one there all right so here and here and we want the redstone blocky thing here and then we want oh dear uh, I think here 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 I don't know why this is red I don't know why that is red. I think that is where we need to hit it with the engineering hammer for it to form. And then we need to place the harpers from what I can tell on top of these right here. Like that? I think that's it. I actually think that is it. So, gotta take the engineer's hammer and smack it right there? No. Here? No. Um, I've done something wrong. I definitely have. I didn't place it these. There we go. So maybe I smack it here now? Ooh, I did. Yes, I did smack it there now. <laughs> awesome. So here it is. Here is the machine. We can't right click it or anything. What we need is, oh, hmm. I may have built this the wrong way, but that's fine. I can always move it. Now we have it. Um, as you can see right here, we can see if you look up here, it's a zero RF. That is the power of a uh, amount of uh, power it has. Now this is a redstone toggle, so we can actually make a lever real quick, place it there, and that will be able to turn it on and off like so. But of course, it needs power. Um, this is the output right here, so we can actually make a career belt, and the stuff will be outputted through here. Uh, I just gotta think if we can maybe place it on the other side. And this right there is where the power will be inputted. So I can actually, right, I need, I need some wire. I just wanna see if I'm gonna be able to move around the positioning of this. So if you didn't know, I just broke one part of it and it turns back to being this uh, at this state. Uh, let's see if that works. It does. So now it is turned the other way. Perfect. That is excellent. So now we can have the lever here. We can output the stuff here where it's actually accessible. And we can now place this LV connector right there. And we can connect it. You cannot. Oh, right. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I actually want to move this up. I'm gonna place it there because then what I can do is I can just direct this 
to that and then I can have the output going here and then out like so. Perfect. Okay. Now this thing should be getting power if we go over here. As you can see, it has the power right there. Now if I flick this lever, it might not turn on because nothing is in it. Yeah, nothing's in it, so it's not gonna turn on. Let's test it. Um, let's test it. Ooh, this is exciting. Let's get something we use. Iron, for example. I'm gonna take a stack of iron ore. And I think what we will then need to do... Actually, I forgot a chest. I'm gonna place the chest here. That is the output chest. And I'm gonna try and throw in an iron ore. Yes, it works. And as you can see, we then have two iron grid. Which, if we look at the usage... We can turn one iron grid into one iron ingot, so we doubled the output for that ore. So then what I do is I just throw in this whole thing. And it gets a little bit loud. But it works. It actually works. This whole machine now has a stack of iron in it and it's being processed. And I can turn it off right here and I can start it back up again. Look at that. This is cool. Now what we will have to do is we need to make a system so that we can have a chest like over here with all our ores and some conveyors then taking the output from taking the stuff from the chest, moving it and then throwing it into um, the the crusher here so it automatically gets processed. And then I definitely need to make this room look nice. I think I'm gonna do that on a stream. So subscribe if you haven't done so yet and enable those notifications. And look out on the channel for that because it may happen at any time. But I've got to try and schedule it if I do. Um, but yeah, that's a crusher. Mission complete. So this has taken us a lot of resources, but it has out. <laughs> it has taken us a lot of resources, but it is going to to definitely pay itself. Oh, that is right. Actually, if you do pulverize certain ores, you do get sometimes a byproduct. So if we take a look here, for example, let's get to iron ore. Maybe it will show, actually. Um, where do we have normal iron ore? Iron ore. So, crusher. And as you can see here, 10% chance of getting um, some nickel out of that. So that's really, really cool. So there we have it. That is the crusher. That, this is going to be very, very useful to us. And I'm very excited to see where this is going. <laughs> So with that, guys, I'm going to call this an episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed. Um, and yes, we definitely need to make this place look prettier. Maybe it will look prettier in the next episode. Maybe I'll stream it between this episode and the next one. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know what we will be doing in the next episode. We are possibly going to make that conveyor system going all the way up. And maybe taking a look at some greenery outside. I really want to give Arox a... Um, a nice green place to live. So I think that is what we are going to do in the next episode. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. I'm gonna see if I can lower the volume of this in the configuration file. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not. I should mention, by the way, that if you fall into this thing, it will try and crush you. You're gonna die. <laughs> At least you're gonna take damage. And then die over time. So uh, don't fall into that. Contalana, where do I see? Zapu, where do I see? Zapu, where do I see?